Welcome to the Body Shaper Professional Fitness Program. I'm Tony Horton, a personal fitness trainer to the stars of Hollywood. I've helped lots of men and women achieve their personal fitness goals in the body they've always dreamed of. With the Body Shaper from Exercise, I'm now going to help you reach your fitness goals and reshape your body. I've worked with the exercise physiologists from Exercise to develop a 12-week program that will tone, trim, strengthen, and re-sculpt your body to the shape you've always wanted. Throughout the program, I'll give you specific tips tailored to your individual toning or strengthening needs. So, in addition to my professional guidance as a fitness trainer to the stars, you'll also get expert advice and tips from exercise physiologists to help you set and achieve your individual fitness goals. Maybe you want to slim your waist and hips, or develop your chest, or maybe you want to do both. Whatever your personal fitness goals, I will help you achieve them. Together, we will work with the Body Shaper to build and develop your chest, firm your inner and outer thighs, flatten and tighten your stomach muscles, and firm and sculpt your arms. Now let's shape that body. All you need to do is give yourself 15 to 20 minutes a day, three days a week, and in 12 weeks you should see a totally different body in the mirror. There are three different workouts in this program. The first is for week one and two and features seven exercises. The second workout is for weeks two through eight with nine exercises. The last workout is for weeks 9 through 12. These 12 exercises should be repeated on a regular basis to maintain your new and improved body shape. Each of the three workouts provides a muscular toning and strengthening workout to the major muscle groups of the body. Adding exercises as the weeks progress keeps you challenged and the workout exciting. With me to demonstrate the body shaper are Michelle and Brett. Now Michelle wants to work her waist and thighs and Brett wants to work his chest and upper arm muscles. You guys ready to work? A proper strength training workout has four components. Warming up, stretching, muscle toning, and stretching again. We're ready for the warm-up. Now an aerobic warm-up increases the blood flow to your muscles so they're prepared for exercise. It also helps reduce the risk of injury. Be sure to take a few minutes to do the warm-up. There are many good ways to get your blood pumping. There's marching or jogging in place, doing jumping jacks, jumping rope, skiing with a Nordic track, or twisting with a twist and ski. All right, we're going to do a warm-up by doing some marching and some jumping jacks. Are you guys ready? All right, left leg first. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Getting warm, you guys? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you ready to add the arms and twist? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doing good. Eight, nine, ten. Ready for some jacks? Here we go. And go. One. Four, I'm getting warm. Five, how about you guys? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, back to marching. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Looking good back there. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. You ready for twists? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get warm, Jax. You ready? Here we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Body warming up now. Eight, nine, ten. Back to the margin. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And twist. Here we go. Getting warm. One, two, three, four, five. You're doing good, all right, back there? Six. Seven, great. Eight, nine, ten, and jacks. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to march. Left leg first. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Looking good. And seven, eight, nine. Now remember, the warm-up is very important. If 
you just want to do marching or the twist, that's fine. Sometimes jumping jacks might be too much to start off with. Maybe later on you can do that. Now remember, warming up is important like we just did. You guys ready to go? Next step? Okay. Stretching exercises help reduce the risk of injury. Remember the following when stretching. Stretch to the point of muscle tension, not pain. Perform a slow, controlled movement and never bounce. Hold each stretch for 15 to 30 seconds. And remember to breathe normally when stretching. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your back straight. You should be relaxed when you stretch. Tensing the muscles defeats the purpose. First, let's stretch the back and arm muscles. Place your right elbow in your left hand and slowly move your elbow behind your head. It's almost like scratching your back. Hold it, relax. Now don't force your arm. Now let's stretch the left arm. All right, you guys, same thing, other side. Opposite hand and elbow, like you're scratching your back. Hold, relax, and then release. Great. Now we're going to stretch the shoulder and chest muscles. Standing tall, place your right hand against a wall or have a partner hold your arm. Now gradually rotate your body away from the extended arm. You should feel this in your shoulders and chest. If it hurts, you're over rotating. Make sure you keep your arm parallel to the floor. Okay, left arm. And rotate slightly, just like that. And hold, it shouldn't hurt too bad. That's good. Next, let's stretch the hamstring or back of the leg. Sit down, extend your left leg, placing your right foot by the inside of your left knee. Gently bring your chest towards your left knee. Remember never to bounce. You also want to keep your back flat. Now the same with the right leg. Right leg inside the left. Sit tall and now extend forward nice and slowly without bouncing. Hold for a second and come on back. There you go, very good. Our last stretch concentrates on the inner thighs. Sit on the floor with the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall towards the floor. Grab your ankles and apply light pressure to the legs with your arms. Keep your back straight and don't bounce. Make sure to concentrate or isolate the targeted muscle. Good job, you guys. Are you ready to sculpt your bodies? This workout routine for weeks one and two includes the pelvic tilt, adduction, abduction, lateral raise, bicep curl, tricep push down, and the abdominal crunch. We'll be doing one set of eight to 10 repetitions for each exercise. Do as many as you can up to 10. It's important to work through the full range of motion. As you get stronger, you should be able to do all of the reps. Another thing to remember, some muscles are stronger than others, so you may need to adjust the resistance or tension of the body shaper. You may use one, two, three, or none of the tension bands. Setting the resistance is simple. Just slide the number of tension bands desired over the two handle holders. If you loop the other unused bands around the band or bands to be used, like this, you won't have to worry about misplacing them. Throughout the exercises, remember to keep your back straight and your stomach muscles tight. Good posture enhances the effects of the workout because you're doing the motions properly. Plus, you also reduce your risk of injury or strain. One last rule of thumb. If your fitness goal is to tone and shape muscles, you'll want to work with fewer tension bands, say one or none, and increase the number of reps. If you want to build muscle mass, you need to use more tension bands, two or three, and do the recommended number of reps. We're going to be focusing our efforts on the gluteus maximus and try to achieve a gluteus minimus. Lie flat on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Place the exerciser between your knees so that the longer grips touch the lower part of your thigh. Tilt your pelvis to bring your butt off the floor while squeezing your legs together. Slowly to release and then return. Good. Again, and two. And three. Now that's perfect form. And four. Good, Brett. That's great. And five. And six. Bringing the knees together like that. And seven. Hands are just for a guide here. And Eight, all the works on the inner thighs. And nine, again. And ten, great. These next two exercises are perfect for Michelle. Since she wants to tone her thighs, she'll keep the resistance light, so she'll use only one tension band and do the full number of reps. 
we're going to work with both legs at the same time and attack the inner thigh during this exercise. While standing, hold the exercises so the long handles are just above your knees. Stabilize the body shaper by holding the shorter grips. Now squeeze your legs together until the ends of the exercise are touch. Slowly release, and the movement is controlled and slow. Here we go for two, and three. Good, and four. Nice, slow, controlled movement. And five. You see how her back is nice and straight? Perfect. And six. And seven. The feet are flat on the floor and they stay that way. And eight. Great. And nine. Perfect form. And ten. Now let's work the outer thigh. Position the exerciser like this. The shorter grip should be above your knee on the outer and lower part of your thigh. Hold on to the longer grips for stability. Now move your legs out against the resistance. Squeeze your buttocks and slowly release. Move through your full range of motion. Are you ready, Michelle? And two. And three. And four. Perfect form. And five. Notice her back is nice and straight. And six. And her hands are just there to guide. And seven. And eight. You feel those? Great. Definitely. And nine. And ten. Here's a terrific exercise for achieving great shoulders. The short grips rest on your biceps. Hold the longer grips in an overhand grasp. Now you want to press outward at the elbows. Press out as far as you can without hunching your shoulders. Keep that posture straight and slowly release and repeat. What number is that? Four. Four. Okay, keep going and five and six good form you see how the arms are parallel to the floor here and seven back is straight and eight you're breathing right and nine these hands are just for a guide and ten Brett wants to build his arm and chest muscles to achieve this he'll work with more resistance bands starting with two and still have the ability to do the recommended number of reps. So if he starts out with two bands, once he can make it through all of the reps easily, say after about two weeks, he'll then add another band. You may sit or stand for working the bicep. Again, we want to work the right arm first and then end with the left arm. Hold the exerciser just like this, and then the body shaper, of course, is parallel to the floor and resting against your chest. Your right arm grips the outside longer handle in an underhand grasp. Your left hand supports the nearest, shortest handle in an overhand grasp. Now, using your right hand, pull the grip towards your shoulder and move through the full range of motion. Keep your elbow close to your side. Slowly release, and remember, the biceps are a smaller muscle group. If you're having trouble squeezing the handles together, decrease the resistance by removing the rubber bands until you find the right resistance. That's great. Now let's repeat on the left bicep. Right, that's perfect. And here we go for one and two. Brett, good work. And three. Make sure to breathe. And four. As you can see, it's parallel to the floor. And five. And six. Seven. The hand is just used for a guide and eight, and he's supporting it over here with the right hand, and nine, and ten. Good work, working hard. Are you ready to tighten those triceps? Well, so are we. You need to sit down for this exercise. Now remember, your back is straight and your abs are tight. We'll work the right arm and then the left. Hold the exerciser like Brett's got it here, and it's parallel to your body and rests across your lap. Your right elbow is at your side, and your right hand is gripping the exerciser in an overhand grasp. Use your left hand as a counterbalance. Now to press the arm of the exerciser, keeping your elbow close to your body. Press it as low as you can, and then release. Again, if the resistance is too much, loosen it by removing a tension band. If you want to make sure you're not moving your elbow while you're doing this exercise, this is the only way your tricep will receive the full benefit of the pushdown. Let's see, it looks like Brett's working pretty hard here. How are you doing? Let's switch and go to the other side, give the right arm a rest. 
All right, here we go. And down for one. And two. Look how back is how straight his back is here. And three. And four. Elbow tight to your side. And five. Perfect form. And six. And seven. The shaper is parallel to his body. And eight. And nine. How you doing? You feel those? Mm -hmm. Good. And ten. Great form. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. We're going to work our stomach muscles. The idea here is to use your arms to help your stomach muscles. As your stomach muscles get stronger, you should rely on your arms less. Hold the body shaper just like Michelle's got it here. The short grips are under your thighs, but do not touch the floor. Curl your pelvis upward to push your lower back into the floor. Think of it as shortening the distance between the ribs and hips. Tighten your abs. Slowly raise your shoulders and then the shoulder blades off the floor while keeping your head and neck straight and aligned with your torso. Try not to let your chin touch your chest and keep your neck relaxed. Your head should be up, but think of it as being in neutral. Remember, use your arms to assist you with the crunch, but not to pull yourself up. If you want a tighter, flatter stomach like Michelle does, concentrate. No slacking. Come on, crunch. Well, congratulations. You made it through your workout. Rest tomorrow, and we'll see you again the day after. You're on your way to shaping and strengthening your body. Keep up the good work. You'll see the rewards of your efforts in no time. This workout routine for weeks three through eight includes pelvic tilt, adduction, abduction, lateral raise, chest fly, bicep curl, tricep push down, oblique side bend, and the abdominal crunch. We'll be doing two sets of 10 to 12 repetitions for each exercise. Do as many reps as you can up to 12. As you get stronger, you should be able to do all the reps. Another thing to remember, some muscles are stronger than others, so you may need to adjust the resistance or tension of the body shaper. You may use one, two, three, or none of the tension bands. Throughout the exercises, remember to keep your back straight and your stomach muscles tight. Good posture enhances the effects of the workout because you're doing the motions properly. Plus, you also reduce the risk of injury or strain. We're going to be focusing our efforts on the gluteus maximus and try to achieve a gluteus minimus. Lie flat on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Place the exerciser between your knees so that the longer grips touch the lower part of your thigh. Tilt your pelvis to bring your butt off the floor while squeezing your legs together. Slowly to release and then return. Good. Again, and two. And three. Now that's perfect form. And four. Good, Brett. That's great. And five. And six. Bringing the knees together like that. And seven. Hands are just for a guide here. And Eight, all the works on the inner thighs. And nine, again. And 10, great. Keep going, here we go. And 11, the pelvic's coming up. And 12. These next two exercises are perfect for Michelle. Since she wants to tone her thighs, she'll keep the resistance light, so she'll use only one tension band and do the full number of reps. We're going to work with both legs at the same time and attack the inner thigh during this exercise. While standing, hold the exercises so the long handles are just above your knees. Stabilize the body shaper by holding the shorter grips. Now squeeze your legs together until the ends of the exercise are touch. Slowly release, and the movement is controlled and slow. Here we go for two, and three, good and four nice slow controlled movement and five you see how her back is nice and straight perfect and six and seven the feet are flat on the floor and they stay that way and eight great and nine perfect form and ten here we go and eleven perfect and twelve Now let's work the outer thigh. Position the exerciser like this. The shorter grip should be above your knee on the outer and lower part of your thigh. 
Hold on to the longer grips for stability. Now move your legs out against the resistance. Squeeze your buttocks and slowly release. Move through your full range of motion. Are you ready, Michelle? And two. And three. And four. Perfect form. And five. Notice her back is nice and straight. And six. And her hands are just there to guide. And seven. And eight. You feel those? Great. Definitely. And nine. And ten. Perfect form. That's great. And eleven. Make sure to breathe. And twelve. Here's a terrific exercise for achieving great shoulders. The short grips rest on your biceps. Hold the longer grips in an overhand grasp. Now you want to press outward at the elbows. Press out as far as you can without hunching your shoulders. Keep that posture straight and slowly release and repeat. What number is that? Four. OK, keep going. And five. And six. Good form. You see how the arms are parallel to the floor here? And seven. Back is straight. And eight. You're breathing, right? And nine. These hands are just for a guide. And ten. And again, for eleven. Perfect form. And twelve. This next exercise is for building and defining the pecs and the deltoids. This one's for you, Brett. Use as many bands as you can. Concentrate on squeezing your pecs together. All the tension in your body should be focused in your chest while doing this exercise. Ready? Grasp the exerciser like Brett's got it here. Hands are curled over the shorter grips, and the longer grips are resting near your elbows. With forearms perpendicular to the floor, bend your elbows at a right angle. Press your elbows together. Try to touch the handles together. Release, and that's two, and three. Good work. And four, and five. You feeling those? Mm. Great. And six, and seven. Four arms perpendicular. That's perfect. And eight, and nine. You feel that in your chest mm -hmm. and shoulders? Good. And ten. And 11, make sure to keep breathing. There's 12. Brett wants to build his arm and chest muscles. To achieve this, he'll work with more resistance bands, starting with two and still have the ability to do the recommended number of reps. So if he starts out with two bands, once he can make it through all of the reps easily, say after about two weeks, he'll then add another band. You may sit or stand for working the bicep. Again, we want to work the right arm first and then end with the left arm. Hold the exerciser just like this, and then the body shaper, of course, is parallel to the floor and resting against your chest. Your right arm grips the outside longer handle in an underhand grasp. Your left hand supports the nearest shortest handle in an overhand grasp. Now, using your right hand, pull the grip towards your shoulder and move through the full range of motion. Keep your elbow close to your side. Slowly release. And remember, the biceps are a smaller muscle group. If you're having trouble squeezing the handles together, decrease the resistance by removing the rubber bands until you find the right resistance. That's great. Now let's repeat on the left bicep. Great. That's perfect. And here we go for one and two. This is the exercise to firm up those love handles. Since Michelle wants to trim her waist, she's going to increase the number of reps and use less tension. Hold the body shaper against your side, like Michelle's got it here, and make sure to keep it parallel to the floor. Now lean to the right side, good, and squeeze the shaper as you go. Imagine a wall in front of you and behind you so you can only lean to the side. Good job. What is that, number three? Mm -hmm. Good job. Number four. Number five. Feel that there in the love handles? Definitely. And six. Not that you have any, but. And seven. Good work. And eight. Only leaning to the side. That's perfect. And nine. And ten. 
Working hard. Good job. And 11. Good. There's 12. All right, left side. Here we go. You ready? Okay. And there's one. And two. Good job. And three. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. We're going to work our stomach muscles. The idea here is to use your arms to help your stomach muscles. As your stomach muscles get stronger, you should rely on your arms less. Hold the body shaper just like Michelle's got it here. The short grips are under your thighs, but do not touch the floor. Curl your pelvis upward to push your lower back into the floor. Think of it as shortening the distance between the ribs and hips. Tighten your abs. Slowly raise your shoulders and then the shoulder blades off the floor while keeping your head and neck straight and aligned with your torso. Try not to let your chin touch your chest and keep your neck relaxed. Your head should be up, but think of it as being in neutral. Remember, use your arms to assist you with the crunch, but not to pull yourself up. If you want a tighter, flatter stomach like Michelle does, concentrate, no slacking. Come on, crunch. Well, congratulations, you made it through your workout. Rest tomorrow and we'll see you again the day after. You're on your way to shaping and strengthening your body. Keep up the good work. You'll see the rewards of your efforts in no time. This workout routine for weeks 9 through 12 includes pelvic tilt, adduction, abduction, rowing, lateral raise, advanced lateral raise, chest fly, pec deck, bicep curl, tricep push down, oblique side bend, and the abdominal crunch. We'll be doing three sets of 12 to 15 repetitions for each exercise. Do as many reps as you can, up to 15. As you get stronger, you should be able to do all the reps. Another thing to remember, some muscles are stronger than others, so you may need to adjust the resistance or tension of the body shaper. You may use one, two, three, or none of the tension bands. Throughout the exercises, remember to keep your back straight and your stomach muscles tight. Good posture enhances the effects of the workout because you're doing the motions properly. Plus, you also reduce your risk of injury or strain. We're going to be focusing our efforts on the gluteus maximus and try to achieve a gluteus minimus. Lie flat on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Place the exerciser between your knees so that the longer grips touch the lower part of your thigh. Tilt your pelvis to bring your butt off the floor while squeezing your legs together. Slowly release and then return. Good. Again, and two. And three. Now that's perfect form. And four. Good, Brett. That's great. And five. And six. Bringing the knees together like that. And seven. Hands are just for a guide here. And eight. All the works on the inner thighs. And nine. Again. And ten. Great. Keep going. Here we go. And eleven. The pelvic's coming up. And twelve. Three more and you got it. Here we go. Thirteen. Perfect. And fourteen. One more. And fifteen. Great. Good work. These next two exercises are perfect for Michelle. Since she wants to tone her thighs, she'll keep the resistance light, so she'll use only one tension band and do the full number of reps. We're going to work with both legs at the same time and attack the inner thigh during this exercise. While standing, hold the exercises so the long handles are just above your knees. Stabilize the body shaper by holding the shorter grips. Now squeeze your legs together until the ends of the exerciser touch. Slowly release, and the movement is controlled and slow. Here we go for two. And three. Good. And four. Nice, slow, controlled movement. And five. You see how her back is nice and straight? Perfect. And six. And seven. The feet are flat on the floor, and they stay that way. And eight. Great. And nine. Perfect form. And ten. Here we go. And eleven. Perfect. And twelve. 
and 13 and 14 and 15. There you go, 15 perfect reps. Now let's work the outer thigh. Position the exerciser like this. The shorter grip should be above your knee on the outer and lower part of your thigh. Hold on to the longer grips for stability. Now move your legs out against the resistance. Squeeze your buttocks and slowly release. Move through your full range of motion. Are you ready, Michelle? And two. And three. And four. Perfect form. And five. Notice her back is nice and straight. And six. And her hands are just there to guide. And seven. And eight. You feel those? Great. Definitely. And nine. And ten. Perfect form. That's great. And eleven. Make sure to breathe. And twelve. And thirteen. And there's fourteen. And fifteen. That should do it. Perfect form. There you go. Rowing is a great way to work the upper back and shoulder muscles. Grasp the short handles with your arms extended out in front of your body, kind of like Brett has here. Keeping the body shape parallel to the floor, bring your hands towards your chest while pulling the grips apart. Squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back and return the starting position. Here's a terrific exercise for achieving great shoulders. The short grips rest on your biceps. Hold the longer grips in an overhand grasp. Now you want to press outward at the elbows. Press out as far as you can without hunching your shoulders. Keep that posture straight and slowly release and repeat. What number is that? Four. Four. Okay, keep going. And five. And six. Good form. You see how the arms are parallel to the floor here? And seven. Back is straight. And eight. You're breathing, right? And nine. These hands are just for a guide. And 10. And again, 411. Perfect form. And 12. And 13. Getting tough. And 14. And again, 415. Great. That's it. Hold the short grips in an overhand grasp, like Brett's got here. Now pull outward as far as you can without hunching your shoulders. Slowly release and repeat. Four, two. Looking good, Brett. And three. Keep going. There's four. You feel these? Mm. All right. And five. Nice work. And six. Perpendicular to the floor. That's great. And seven. Feel that back there in the shoulders? Yes. And eight. And again, four and nine. Working hard. There's 10. Keep going. 11. Getting a workout. 12. 13. Good work. There's 14. How you doing? And 15. Very good. This next exercise is for building and defining the pecs and the deltoids. This one's for you, Brett. Use as many bands as you can. Concentrate on squeezing your pecs together. All the tension in your body should be focused in your chest while doing this exercise. Ready? Grasp the exerciser like Brett's got it here. Hands are curled over the shorter grips and the longer grips are resting near your elbows. With forearms perpendicular to the floor, bend your elbows at a right angle. Press your elbows together. Try to touch the handles together. Release, and that's two. And three, good work. And four, and five, you feeling those? Mm. Great. And six, and seven, forearms perpendicular, that's perfect. And eight, and nine, you feel that in your chest mm -hmm. and shoulders? Good. And 10, and 11, make sure to keep breathing. There's 12, good form. 13, 14, and 15. Nice work. There you go. Very good. 
Here's another exercise for shaping spectacular pectorals. The movement is small but concentrated. Control the motion and remember to squeeze the muscles. Grasp the exerciser, hand grips at the long end, and keep your elbows slightly bent. With wrists firm, press the grips together. Keep your elbows as stationary as possible while doing the exercise. Release, good, and two. Good, Michelle, and three. Do you feel that movement? Sure do. And good, and four. And five, perfect form, that's really good. And six, your back is nice and straight, your head is up, perfect. And seven, starting to feel those, I bet, huh? Mm -hmm. Good, and eight, keep going, there's nine. And 10, very good. Great, 11, keep going, hang in there. There's 12, good work. 13, terrific, form looks good. And 14, one more, there's 15, good work. Brett wants to build his arm and chest muscles. To achieve this, he'll work with more resistance bands, starting with two and still have the ability to do the recommended number of reps. So if he starts out with two bands, once he can make it through all of the reps easily, say after about two weeks, he'll then add another band. You may sit or stand for working the bicep. Again, we want to work the right arm first and then end with the left arm. Hold the exerciser just like this, and then the body shaper, of course, is parallel to the floor and resting against your chest. Your right arm grips the outside longer handle in an underhand grasp. Your left hand supports the nearest shortest handle in an overhand grasp. Now, using your right hand, pull the grip towards your shoulder and move through the full range of motion. Keep your elbow close to your side. Slowly release, and remember, the biceps are a smaller muscle group. If you're having trouble squeezing the handles together, decrease the resistance by removing the rubber bands until you find the right resistance. That's great. Now let's repeat on the left bicep. Great, that's perfect. And here we go for one and two. Brett, good work. And three. Make sure to breathe. And four. As you can see, it's parallel to the floor. And five. And six. Seven. The hand is just used for a guide. And eight. And he's supporting it over here with the right hand. And nine. And ten. Good work. Working hard. And 11. You feel these? Hmm. And 12. I bet you do. And 13. And there's 14. Good workout. And 15. Nice work. Good job, Brett. There Thank you go. You. Are you ready to tighten those triceps? Well, so are we. You need to sit down for this exercise. Now remember, your back is straight and your abs are tight. We'll work the right arm and then the left. Hold the exerciser like Brett's got it here, and it's parallel to your body and rests across your lap. Your right elbow is at your side, and your right hand is gripping the exerciser in an overhand grasp. Use your left hand as a counterbalance. Now, to press the arm of the exerciser, keeping your elbow close to your body. Press it as low as you can, and then release. Again, if the resistance is too much, loosen it by removing a tension band. If you want to make sure you're not moving your elbow while you're doing this exercise, this is the only way your tricep will receive the full benefit of the pushdown. Let's see, it looks like Brett's working pretty hard here. How are you doing? Let's switch and go to the other side, give the right arm a rest. All right, here we go. And down for one. And two, look how, back his, how straight his back is here. And three. And four, elbow tight to your side, and five, perfect form, and six, and seven. The shaper is parallel to his body, and eight, and nine. How are you doing? You feel those? Mm -hmm. Good. And ten, great form. Eleven, looking good. And twelve, and thirteen. You breathing in there? and 14, and again, and there's 15. Nice work. Brett, very nice. There you go. 
This is the exercise to firm up those love handles. Since Michelle wants to trim her waist, she's going to increase the number of reps and use less tension. Hold the body shaper against your side, like Michelle's got it here, and make sure to keep it parallel to the floor. Now lean to the right side, good, and squeeze the shaper as you go. Imagine a wall in front of you and behind you so you can only lean to the side. Good job. What is that, number three? Mm -hmm. Good job. Number four. Number five. Feel that there in the love handles? Definitely. And six. Not that you have any, but... And seven. Good work. And eight. Only leaning to the side. That's perfect. And nine. And 10, working hard, good job. And 11, good. There's 12. How you doing, you all right? Mm -hmm. Good, 13. And 14, working hard, all right. 15, all right, left side, here we go. You ready? And there's one. And two. Good job. And three. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. We're going to work our stomach muscles. The idea here is to use your arms to help your stomach muscles. As your stomach muscles get stronger, you should rely on your arms less. Hold the body shaper just like Michelle's got it here. The short grips are under your thighs, but do not touch the floor. Curl your pelvis upward to push your lower back into the floor. Think of it as shortening the distance between the ribs and hips. Tighten your abs. Slowly raise your shoulders and then the shoulder blades off the floor while keeping your head and neck straight and aligned with your torso. Try not to let your chin touch your chest and keep your neck relaxed. Your head should be up, but think of it as being in neutral. Remember, use your arms to assist you with the crunch, but not to pull yourself up. If you want a tighter, flatter stomach like Michelle does, concentrate, no slacking. Come on, crunch. Congratulations, you made it through your workout. Rest tomorrow and we'll see you again on the day after. You're on your way to strengthening and shaping your body. Keep up the good work. After you complete the 12 weeks of training, use this final program to maintain the newly sculpted you.